arm boost technology, which actually allows you to cast these swim baits a lot further than any other swim bait on the market. What's going on guys? Today we're going to test out the brand new Arma Joint Swim Bait by Shimano. Now this $40 swim bait is pretty unique in design because it has three features that have not been seen in any other swim bait. One is going to be that flash bolt technology that Shimano is known for. Two is going to be the Arma Boost technology which actually allows you to cast these swim baits a lot further than any other swim bait on the market apparently. And three is going to be that scale boost technology which gives it that ultra realistic look. Now today we're going to be out here on the water giving it a quick test and seeing how all three features hold up and trying to give you guys a better idea of what this bait is all about. So let's get out there and make it happen. Now once again the first feature that I want to talk about is that flash bolt technology. Now Shimano went ahead and added a spring loaded blade inside these swim baits which allows this bait to flicker and have an ultra realistic lifelike. Now on top of that they combined that feature with the scale boost technology. And lastly, the final feature, that Arma boost technology, which actually allows these swim baits to collapse, to get further distance and reduce any sort of resistance that the wind may cause on these baits when they're trying to get out there on the water. And Shimano actually said that these baits can get about 40% further out there in the water. So that's gonna be today's main test. All right, guys, I'm going to put you on the chest cam, so I hope you don't mind. But uh, first thing I want to talk about is just the presentation of this bait before I actually tie it on. This thing is going to be seven and a half inches, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yeah, seven and a half inches. So it is a pretty big bait. I'd say it's about six inches without the tail. And it's going to be coming in close to two ounces. It's one and seven eighths ounce. We're going to be pairing this bait up with my Phoenix M1 rod and Shimano Tranks. I think we got 20 pound fluorocarbon on there and I'm going to be running this with a little clip so we can try to get a realistic glide look and bait fish look like I would with any other of my big swim baits. On top of that I did bring one other swim bait that is just comparable in size and weight so that way we can kind of compare as far as the distance test goes. That is one thing that Shimano did say is that you will get more distance out of this Arma joint so let's go ahead and see if we can get more distance out of it. Swim bait on and see what it looks like for the first time. First thing I wanna do is just get it in the water. I just wanna cast it out there and see what it looks personally. Cast smooth and easy. Okay, you gotta let it get underwater. It seems like it's a slow, slow sink. No, it's floating. Okay, I thought it was a slow sink. It's, it's floating. Oh wow, the twitch on this thing is insane. Guys, you see that? This is just slow reel cranks. Wow, that is comparable to a DRT. And the body does collapse when you cast. I was checking that out real quick. I was like, let me see if it actually does what it's supposed to. You're supposed to be able to kind of burn it too because it has that three piece of body. Dude, this thing looks, I'm not gonna lie. This thing looks amazing in the water. Look at that. And the color that I picked, I believe, is like a gizzard shad. Uh, it is a shad pattern. It's got the black top, then it's got the silver body. It's got a pink tail on there, too. Let's go ahead and try to get a good cast. Oh, man. I mean, they say 40% more, but people don't really get too far with swim baits, so I guess that's what they're judging it off of. I would say you, get, you definitely do get a good cast. Uh, we'll, we'll compare it here in a little bit to the Goon Contender, which is very similar in size and weight. And get this bad boy in. Dude, look at it, just looks amazing. I gotta get some better footage for you guys. Let's try to get some better footage for you guys so you can see what it looks like swimming.
wow, this bait is freaking awesome, man. Bombing it out there now. I, I'm gonna try to get it by that grass patch out there. Realistically, there's no way I should be able to get a swim bait out that far, but we're gonna try it. I've never had a hard bait similar to this. Um, it opened up right there when I was casting. It didn't allow it to do its proper form. I could tell right there. There is potential that this thing isn't gonna get the perfect cast every single time, but so far, man, I am like impressed. All right, guys, let's go ahead and swap out this bait real quick and put on that goon contender. All right, guys, once again, goon contender, I believe these are about seven inches, so about half inch shorter, and the weight is very similar. I believe they're about two ounces. Uh, if not, it might be just a hair under, very similar to what we were tossing right now. So first thing I'm gonna do, cast that bad boy out there. Holy crap. It's weird seeing it like back and forth like that. Like I just took the bait off and I, I was like 20 feet away from that grass patch. I gotta try that again. Dude. Wow. That is insanely impressive. All right, guys, after comparing this Goon Contender firsthand, I will have to say that that Shimano bait is pretty damn amazing. There's definitely a way that it gets more distance. It's definitely like a little bit lighter and agile as far as like casting and feeling. And it has a ultra realistic, like lifelike presentation with almost doing nothing. Like you could just reel that thing in, you can twitch it. You can, honestly, a beginner could pick up that bait and swim it perfectly. So I will have to say like, Big shout out to Shimano for making such an awesome bait, especially for affordable price of only $42. There is a big open field right here behind me. I still got that Goon Contender on and I still got that Arma joint right there next to me. So we're gonna do an on land distance test. I just feel like that is what's gonna give us the best realistic idea of what you can get as far as distance goes. 40% is a big number to throw out by Shimano. So we're gonna go ahead and test it out and see if it's actually 40% or if it's roughly 40%. So let's go ahead. Get ready, I'm gonna run down to those trees, start casting at you guys, and we'll go ahead and measure it on my measuring app. All right, first thing we're gonna test is the Guggen Contender. And I'm gonna to try to just keep a straight line for these trees that are right in front of me and the camera, which is right behind me. So we got a good little straight line we're gonna work with, at least try to work with. And I'm not gonna to go too far back because I don't expect you know, these baits to launch the entire distance, but you never know. I don't wanna hit my damn camera, that's for sure. All right, for a marker, what I'm gonna use is my car keys, right there. Just gonna stick that one in the ground right there. And hopefully I can find those in just a second. That'd be, that'd be pretty bad if I couldn't. And here we go. All right. All right, guys, we're gonna pull out this handy dandy measuring app. A lot of times people ask me what this app is called. It's just like a measuring app, literally like, you know, I go to the app store right here. It's called Measure Utilities Open. That's what it is. And uh, we're gonna start right here where the keys are. So there's a little pinpoint. Let me go ahead and make sure you guys can see. So we'll pinpoint that. And then we're just gonna walk in a straight line to where we wanna go. All right, and we're here at our bait. We'll go to the tip of the bait, or we'll go to the tail of the bait. It seems more realistic, right? And it comes out to 96 feet, eight inches. 96 feet, eight inches is what the Goon Contender's at. I'm gonna go ahead and just unclip it, leave the Goon Contender right there. I'll leave the bait right there so we can actually have like a first-hand idea of where this bait is. Put this armor joint on, and we're just gonna go ahead and give it one cast out. All right, and right here where my keys are is right where I'm gonna be standing once again. Get this line back in. I really hope I don't hit my damn camera. There's potential that it falls in the water. I'm gonna go ahead and go lower my camera down real quick. All right. All right, we're at my keys. I got my bait. I'm really hoping I don't hit my camera. Oh my God, it's gonna hit my camera. 
Oh my God, it got so close to hitting my camera. Whew. All right, once again, we're gonna pull out that handy dandy app. I believe the other one was 96.8 feet or 98.6 feet, something like that. Here are my keys. Keys are right here. There we go. I know that this went past, but it definitely, I don't think it went 40% more. 40% 40% more is a very it, it, that's a high number like you're basically saying like I can double what you're throwing there's the Guggen right there 97 feet 97.7 is what we'll say the Guggen contenders at and the Arma joint made it all the way over here which we are gonna call 123 and one inch 123 and one inch so does the armor joint cast further yes does it cast 40 percent further i'd have to say no i'd have to say it's about 10 percent further i'd have to say it's about 80 percent more accurate so i think that that's a good realistic idea of what it can do for you guys how it looks in the water as far as castability uh is it 40 percent more probably not i'd say more about 10 percent but is it better and uh, is it good for the price? Definitely so. $42, I mean, that might be one of the best baits on the market for that price. Uh, I mean, if you guys know Shimano, they're a great company, great brand all around. Also, do me a favor, if you did enjoy this video or if you did find it helpful, make sure you hit that thumbs up or subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching.